Hey Pisces, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. So we're going to see what's going on for you in love. This is for February 2021. Pisces, this is for you. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. It's a general love reading. So it won't resonate with every Pisces out there. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. If you want a personal love reading, check me out. The link is in the description box. Um, also check out my Etsy shop. I have personal love readings you can purchase there. Oracle decks like this one, which I'll start off with, sacred signs and symbols. I have other mystical goodies, mood rings, um, bracelets. So check it out if you are interested. Follow me on Instagram. All right. Um, your extended bonus reading will be up on Vimeo. How does your person feel? What's on their mind? How do they view you? What's going on in their feelings, emotions? What are they not saying? And how do they want to move forward? We'll also take a look at what's going on behind the scenes. What are the blocks? What are the challenges? What's the outcome? Right? And um, I also will do a bonus unspoken love messages. What does this person really want to tell you right now that they can? And some um, love advice. All right? So check that out. That's from February 1st through the 10th. All right. Let's see what's happening here. Pisces, Pisces, cross watchers, you are welcome. Hello, hello. All right, let's see. All right, we got the caterpillar, um, early stage metamorphosis transformation. So whoever you're thinking about, Pisces, um, there is some kind of transformation taking place. I feel like some of you guys, um, this connection could have started off very slow um, or maybe even had ended. And now there's some kind of change, okay? So wherever things are right now, um, it may not be where it's going to be four months from now or six months from now, okay? This metamorphic change is, is very powerful. Some of you guys, um, you're very spiritual. That transformation could be within your own energy, you guys are developing, you're learning, you're like a sponge, Pisces, okay? Some of you guys are very intuitive and you're building on your intuition, okay? Um, some of you guys, you may have cut ties with this person because there could have been something here that was toxic. Um, we do got the pills. There could have been some addiction, some bad habits, um, codependencies here. Now, codependencies could be anything. It could be them codependent on you know alcohol, drugs, or a karmic, or their family, or money. There could be some kind of codependence between you guys. There could be children involved, okay? So take it how it resonates. But I do feel, ooh, I do feel what's affecting this connection is because there is some kind of codependence. I do feel like your person feels like they still rely on you for something, okay? Even if you guys are not in direct communication at this time, they may have relied on you for their own happiness or their own stability. Some of you guys, they may have wanted, I'm getting money. There's some kind of money that was involved here between you guys. Some of you guys, you feel like they used you for money or they used you for sex. That's for some of you guys I'm just getting, okay? They could have had some kind of addiction to sex. All right. Let's see what else we need to know. But there is some kind of change taking place. It may be in an early stage with the caterpillar energy, but there is some kind of promise of transformation here. Now, we do got the suitcase here. Burdens, baggage, escapism. So I do feel Pisces, whoever this person was, I feel like they had to escape here or they felt like they had to escape the connection I do feel like, um, Pisces, I do feel there was some kind of emotional piece to this. Okay, Pisces, you could have felt very emotional at some times during this connection. Or this person brought out some kind of uh, emotional burden or they, they, they burden you emotionally, okay? Um, Pisces, you're very, you're a water sign. You're very intuitive. You're very in touch with your feelings, emotions. So that could have been the case. Others of you guys, they felt burdened by the connection just all together, okay? It had nothing to do with you. Some of you guys, you're feeling at fault for the way how things ended. But I feel like this person was trying to escape. They were trying to escape something. They could have been trying to escape some kind of addiction or escape, you know, moving forward and committing to you, loving you, okay? Um, there could have been some major blocks here with this baggage, okay? So I do feel your person is also feeling the burden right now if you guys are not communicating or not in touch with each other. But I do feel like if your person abandoned you, abandoned the connection, they were trying to just find a way out. I do feel like they could have like left town. It could have been out of nowhere. 
we do got the healing um soothing relief aloe vera plant okay so there is energy of you guys i'm getting self-soothed okay you guys have been working on yourself pisces that is your energy all the way you're healing you're overcoming some of you guys are healing through tarot but there is something here that is um again transforming you guys are becoming the best version of yourself you are very you're getting very spiritual some of you guys are doing some like candle magic you're releasing you're cut cording cord cutting what did i say cut cording <laughs> i'm laughing at myself um cord cutting okay i get so many messages so quick i'm sorry i just be like trampling over them so bear with me let's get one more card here um and we've got the tools fix repair rebuild construction so your person is trying to fix themselves there's a lot of fixing here okay um transformation so what i'm seeing is that your person may be really trying to build their their life back up i do feel like if your person um maybe they weren't in a place where they had like a good paying job they didn't have the career they wanted they wasn't really neat where they needed to be at the time they may have been trying to get a higher degree pisces and this relationship was some kind of burden or they felt like they were not good enough okay so others of you guys if there was some kind of codependence or addiction or they ran away from this connection they are trying to better themselves right now to rebuild their life to repair the connection okay so that could be the reason why you guys are in separation from each other all right let's get some more messages pisces Pisces and the person that they are dealing with. Any all messages? I'm just going to take the cards as they come, okay? There's going to be really no spread here. But again, if it resonates, check out your extended bonus reading. How does your person feel? Emotions. What are they not saying? How do they want to move forward? I also have unspoken love messages and love advice for you. So check that out for February. So the hermit. So right now you guys are doing a lot of thinking as well as your person. There's definitely a separation here. I don't feel neither one of you guys are on talking terms with this hermit. But it's the energy of spending more time with oneself, okay? Finding yourself, Pisces. Again, you know, you're very much... Right now, you may need a break from this connection. Some of you guys, again, you're healing. You are retracting your energy. You're withdrawing from this person. You may have felt like exhausted from this connection. Okay, emotional burdens here with the suitcase energy. Now, some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo with this Hermit card, but I feel like this is necessary, okay, to spend a lot of time with yourself, to figure out yourself. There's enlightenment. There's transformation, okay? There is no enlightenment without... So transformation and enlightenment come hand in hand, okay? And some of you guys are experiencing um, a big, big breakthrough, okay? We do got the justice card here. Libra energy. So I do feel like there's a balancing coming back and being restored in a connection, whoever you parted ways from Pisces. Um, I do feel like this person could have been very unfair to you. They may not have put you first, okay? I feel like if you wanted you know that's this person to to commit i feel like they could have had some issues with committing um if you were in a commitment with this person they could have stepped out the connection they could have been with another person okay you may have found out about it some of you guys you there's some kind of karmic justice here i'm, I'm gonna flat out say it out okay there's some kind of karmic justice or justice that's being repaid here and that's what that transformation is also about but i do feel like there was a lack of reciprocity here and I feel like in the, in the moment, Pisces, you didn't know. You didn't. You weren't aware of it. Okay, when you were with this person, you felt like oh everything was okay. Um, you didn't see it until afterward that there was a big injustice that was being done to you. And I feel like this person didn't put you first. They didn't put you first, and it wasn't until afterward that you guys are realizing that justice. Some of you guys are going through some kind of court situation with this person, and you're hibernating. You are definitely withdrawing. You're protecting your energy. It could be a very stressful time for you guys right now. Spirit is saying, make sure you're doing things that is going to provide relief to you. That's going to help you be at peace with yourself. That's soothing. That's healing. Meditating. Okay, listening to ASMR. That's what I do every night. <laughs> all right what else do we need to know for pisces and this is just tapping into pisces your energy right now okay and also the energy around you okay so that's why i figured i'd do this spread for you guys it's gonna tune into more messages for you pisces okay so whether you're single or not single you're in a relationship you're tied to someone 
All right, so the hangman is here. It's in the reverse. That's your energy, Pisces. So there is something or someone that has gotten you thinking big time. And I feel like right now, again, you're very spiritual. You guys are going within. And there's a lot to be think, um, thought about, okay? You've got two spiritual cards here. And I feel that you guys are finding a lot of... Um, there's a lot of information that's being passed on to you from the universe, from your spirit guides. And I feel like right now, you guys are not acting. You're not going to be so quick to act or to reach out to this person. Some of you guys decide, you know what? I'm done. I'm not reaching out. I'm not going to extend myself. Um, I know my worth. I know what I bring to the table, and this person didn't do me right. So we got a lot of major arcanas here, all three of the cards that came out. I do feel like there's big 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 shifts in energy changing um for february at least the beginning of february here and i feel like pasties you're getting unstuck there was a person that you may have felt stuck on that pills addiction codependence could have made your energy as well pisces you could have felt like you were crazy in love you couldn't escape this person you couldn't escape the connection you fell hard i'm getting hard over heels in love with this person some of you guys um are really seeing the truth now you're seeing that this person probably didn't deserve you all right, let's see. Any other messages? The emperor is here. So this emperor could have been definitely the person who was trying to escape the connection or they escaped on giving you what you wanted, whether it was a commitment or, you know, engagement, moving to the next level or the truth. There could have been some information you wanted from this person and they wouldn't tell you. But ultimately, I feel like you had high hopes. You had high expectations for this person, Pisces. You're dealing with an emperor. Some of you guys definitely have a child with each other. OK, the codependence is here. And I feel like you wanted things to move forward. You wanted this person to take control control and ownership of the connection um i do feel like this person had a lot of pressure okay and i don't think the pressure all came from you but they wanted to they wanted to be the best okay they could have had some i feel like they 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 wanted to have a good paying job they wanted to have a nice car they wanted to have more money and i feel like getting into some kind of commitment here with you for some of you guys if you were chasing or wanting this person to commit they couldn't give you that because they weren't where they needed to be they were still rebuilding their life they were still trying to fix the loopholes or you know fix something here from the past some of you guys they were still connected to a past person and that could have been the baggage that they were carrying and i feel like they could have certainly been trying to still fix that connection while also giving to you so the knight of pentacles came out in reverse with the devil and the three of swords some of you guys are connecting with the Capricorn. But what I'm seeing is it definitely was a third party here. And that third party could have been the toxicity and the connection. It could have been the codependence. It could have been the karmic. Okay. Um, that three of swords caused a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, and perhaps a lot of injustices here. Now, that could have been for a lot of you guys the reason why this person wasn't able to come towards you. Why they wasn't able to offer you something solid, the Knight of Pentacles in verse. So I do feel, again, you know, your person could have felt like they were just not good enough or didn't have enough at the time. But they also could have, I'm, get, I'm getting robbed. They could have felt robbed by this karmic or whatever this tie was. Others of you guys, if it wasn't a third party here, okay, I do feel like this person made a sacrifice. And the sacrifice was definitely the connection, the Three of Swords. And it caused you a lot of hurt. Some of you guys, you've been waiting, waiting, waiting for this person to make a decision about you. And they didn't. The hangman is here. They were very indecisive and they didn't know what they wanted. And they kept you at a string. I feel like they kept you on a string. Hmm, they stringed you along for too long. Because you thought that they were going to move things forward. You thought they were going to build a future here with you. And it never came. So let's get one more card here. Um, this is, again, not my typical spread. I'm not even going to clarify this time. But if you resonate, I'm going to extend the reading. How does your partner feel? We're going to look at their energy, behind the scenes, all that. What are they thinking, feeling? What are they not saying? Unspoken love messages as well as some love advice, okay? Let's get one more card here for Pisces. Okay, so we got two cards. So the King of Wands came out with the Two of Wands in reverse. So some of you guys, there is definitely a decision that your person is trying to make right now. Um, there is an energy of feeling a little bit stuck, feeling like they have to do something, but they don't really know just yet what to do. So Pisces, some of you guys, you are in that, again, hangman energy, that Piscean energy, where you've 
you've tried to cut ties from this person. Some of you guys are still waiting and holding on to this, okay, because you're still healing. And as long as you're healing, I mean, sometimes you, you still have that connection. You still have that tie, even though it's not the best tie, right? We got the devil right next to it. So some of you guys, you still haven't cut the cord from this person. And you may be waiting for this person to take action towards you here with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? Um, and I do feel this person knows that. And they, they do look at you as someone who may be still an option for them, but right now they can't come towards you. That King of Wands at verse is telling me, some of you guys, it is a Leo, a and Aries, okay? But they can't offer anything just yet. This is someone who, again, they need to rebuild themselves. They may feel not good enough. They may feel not um, getting powerless or feel weak, feel like they're not capable of doing something here, Pisces. So again, if that's the case, your person is trying to rebuild their life. They're trying to repair something, um, things that they need to work on. It could be it could be um, some hurt from a past life, from a past person. Um, but they're trying to build themselves up before they can come towards you and make some kind of decision. So I don't see a decision being made yet. Or some of you guys, they may have already made a decision with the Two of Wands in verse, okay? So Pisces, that is what I have for you. If this resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to do less tarot, more oracle. And if you enjoy that, please do let me know. Um, leave me a comment. Check out your extended bonus reading up on Vimeo for February 1st through the 10th. And um, all right, if you want a personal love reading, check me out. All right, you guys take care.